Any sunglasses? No, we'll get through this. Welcome to Monkey Box Craft. I'm Deborah. It's the 22nd of March 2020, and here in Scotland, the UK, the government guidelines is now self isolate and social distance. So we're back in the garden. Well, right now, the greenhouse. While we're practicing social distancing, it's the perfect time to be in the garden. We have to take these guidelines really seriously. The longer we don't comply with these guidelines, the longer this will go on. We're just gonna have to do our best and do what we can. So, that being said, what's on the agenda for the garden today? So our archway has been put up. So Andy and my dad built the archway. We've got a lovely little gate now. We still need to dig the feet in. I still need to paint it, but this is our archway. I'm planning on growing peas up here, up this side as well. Andy's built me this planter. We will just need to dig in the feet, but first I've got to paint it. Let's start with some power washing. Power washing is done. Behind me, I've done all down here. I've done all the windows in the greenhouse. Power washed the front of the greenhouse. Power washed around the raised beds. Power washed these guys as well, so I thought I'd maybe paint them later. All the wood around the grass is power washed. Power washed these cold frames and this one. So now I'm going to paint this planter. So I'm going to paint it black. That's the paint I'm going to use. Give it a good stir. I've done a bit of painting. First coat of paint is on the underneath of my planter. Giving these planters a lick of paint because flowers will be going in them as well. So I'm going to go ahead now and use this old decking paint and paint it out my grass and my raised beds. Give it a good stir. Let's get painting. It's been a very productive day in the garden. Painted all around the grass here. Raised beds are power washed and painted. And that's my garden update for today. It's a bit chilly now, so I'm gonna call it a day. It's now Thursday the 26th of March, 2020, and we're on day three of lockdown. So as it's a bit of a brighter day, I thought I'd get back in the garden and do some more painting because isolation and social distancing and all that. So my plan is that we've turned the planter the right way up and I'll be finishing painting that. I'll paint my other little flower planters as well. And I'll try finish painting my raised bed. Fingers crossed the weather holds out for us. God, look at my face. <laughs> look at the state of it. <laughs> this arm's this arm's not quite so oh maybe it is. So I've painted all three of those little flower planters and I've varnished the raised beds with deck and paint. Finished painting my flower planters. And then I got a tiny bit carried away and decided to paint all this as well. I do have a tiny bit more to finish here and that little bit there and I haven't painted the top either <laughs> so it's getting a bit cold now so that'll be me done for the day um, I totally forgot to film but on Friday 27th of March I did a bit more painting and this is what I got done painted some of the archway so a little bit more to go with the archway so I'll get that finished hopefully soon I've been painting all this I had a little bit more left to finish so I've now finished all of that Finish doing that here. Along here, there was all these little bits of things I've pulled out. That took forever, and I got the worst blister ever. Also started painting the decking. You can probably see where it ends here. I'm waiting for that to dry so I could put all the furniture back on. And now I've just got to paint all this. My biggest worry is I'm now going to run out of paint and can't get any more. I will update you when I continue painting and hopefully I don't run out of paint. Also, I discovered I had these retro lights. I had bought these in the January sales from Duffy's. I've got two of them. This is what they look like. I might just pop them up in the garden now because I was going to keep them for Christmas next year but now seems a good time as any to brighten things up in the garden and hopefully my neighbours that can actually see into my garden. Maybe it'll cheer them up too, I don't know. If I put them up, I will show you. Also Andy gave me a hand to dig in the planter. All the soil that's in there will be going into that planter for the flowers. And I did put up the lights after all. So it's Tuesday 31st of March 2020, back in the garden. I was planning to do some painting days, so when I got up this morning it was bright sunshine and now it's just dull and overcast. The black flower planter over there that Andy built me, I painted, we dug that in the other day. So I'm going to fill that with soil I think to start with and then I might get cracking with the lawn. That's how the greenhouse is looking. Tidied up the area coming into the garden. archway we've we've dug the feet in give a bit more stability i think it is still a little bit squint but can't be helped 
same on this side, dug the little feet in there. Still need to do quite a bit of painting on the archway. Raised beds are all done. Tidied up all this area. So I've moved all that bag of soil here into my planter. That's where all the flowers will go. I've just put some pots here and at the end there to make it a little bit tidier. All down here is still looking really bare after winter. Oh, hi, are you enjoying the sunshine? Oh no, I'm sorry for disturbing you. It's the 1st of April and I am determined to get this archway painted today. Be a long day but I finally finished the archway and done part of the decking. Are you supervising? Very good. Only a tiny bit more of the decking to do and I'll nearly be finished the painting. It's now the 2nd of April and it's time to fix the lawn. It's super patchy after winter. I think I cut it a tiny bit too short after winter last year and the dogs have been rolling it like crazy. We've put up this archway to stop the dogs getting into the grass. They have this little bit now that they can pee in without going into the grass area. I also gave my rake to my dad, so I don't have that to scar the ground. I have this. I have a fork to scar the grass with instead of a rake. So we're just gonna have to make do with this. I'm gonna continue scarifying my grass. I'll get back to you when that's done. Now I've scarified the grass, I'm now gonna sprinkle some grass seed and sprinkle some of this compost over the top of the seed and water it in. Well, I'm going to end this vlog here, so I hope you've enjoyed it. If you'd have, do give us a like, leave a little comment. Subscribing is optional, but it is very, very much appreciated. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.